Barns are typically the oldest and largest buildings found on farms and often the most important. In Shenandoah County, some historic barns depict how land was used and document the cultures of farm families who settled in the region. Behind me is the oldest documented barn in Shenandoah County, Virginia, with a documented date of 1772, a pre-Revolutionary War two-crib log barn. Actually, I was born on the farm, and so I've seen it from birth up. Um, it's been interesting because my father made various changes throughout, but it was a, a place where we played, uh, worked, um, just very, it's part of my life, a major part. The Sham Farm log barn from 1772 was built in the style of barns in Switzerland. The notch and groove corners were often done by men whose only jobs were to make the grooves fit perfectly together. The most common barns in Shenandoah County are the Four Bay Bank barns with a ramp that leads to big sliding doors. But it's just too expensive to build log or timber barns now, so it's more common to see pole barns or metal shed buildings being built. The barns of Shenandoah County document the settlement and agricultural history of this intensely agricultural place. They are actually icons of the culture that worked so hard and, and farmed this land for generations, actually for centuries now. So um, we're really fortunate that so many old barns survive in our county. We can see this. During the Civil War, the Union armies had a policy to burn the barns of the South as a way to inhibit agriculture and thereby hurt the South's ability to continue the war effort. During the Civil War, uh, as you know, the barns in the valley, some of them were burned. And there was uh, Custer's troops came down through this area burning the barns. And uh, this barn was not burned because a neighbor who, of the Psalms, the story was related to that, um, that the troops were here, but that they had a medal or a certificate, which says to me that they were probably uh, members of the Mason Society, and both sides honored that during the Civil War. The barns were a, a focus of community as well. They were often built by um, neighbors together and, uh, come from an era when people helped each other without thinking about pay and things like that. So they, they symbolize more than just the pure farming history, but also the cultural history. Many historic barns have begun to deteriorate, and because of the cost to repair and maintain them, they often end up on the bottom of the landowner's spending lists. Often when new landowners move in, they just don't have the resources to remodel or repair historic barns. Eric Riley's barn has a Shenandoah limestone foundation. Both of my parents' families uh, have been in Shenandoah County for over 250 years, so we've always had that uh, connection to the community. And uh, when my wife and I bought the, the surrounding land uh, that we're on, uh, it came with this barn. And uh, it didn't look like this about a year and a half ago. It was uh, very dilapidated. It was in danger of, uh, of coming down on itself within a few years. We recognized it was, it was too nice of a barn to just let that happen to it, so we really kind of felt a responsibility to save it. And um, we have two kids. My daughter's in 4-H uh, here uh, locally, and so she has a few horses, and we thought it's a, you know, it's a great place to, uh, to do a lot of things, you know, whether we do uh, event space down the road or, or we use it for agricultural purposes. But, uh, but it's, it's, you know, it's got that utility function, but it's also really a work of art. Our barns are our culture. And we're an agricultural county, and this is the most important agricultural uh, building in any farm. And the fact that so many survive makes Shenandoah County a truly special place. The historic barns in Shenandoah County date from the 1730s through the 1950s. Over 240 barns have been surveyed so far as part of the Historic Society's program, with hundreds more to be included. The goal is to document these magnificent structures and to assist the owners in finding ways to preserve or document them for future generations. For more information on the program, visit schs1795.com. In Shenandoah County, this is Dave Miller.